Bible Story The New King Samuel walked very slowly. Samuel did not smile. He did not sing. Samuel was thinking. Samuel was thinking about King Saul. I am very sad, said Samuel as he walked into his house. King Saul does not love God. King Saul does not obey God. Samuel sat down in a chair. He looked out the window. If a king does not love and obey God, said Samuel, his people will not love and obey God. Fathers and mothers and boys and girls will be very unhappy. Suddenly, God spoke to Samuel. God spoke loud and clear. Samuel, said God, do not be sad anymore. I have chosen a new king. Samuel sat up straight. He started to smile. Go to the town of Bethlehem, said said God. See Mr. Jesse. One of Mr. Jesse's sons is going to be my new king. Samuel jumped to his feet. He was ready to go to Bethlehem. Samuel was ready to see Mr. Jesse. Quickly, Samuel left his house. He started walking to the town of Bethlehem. A little butterfly flew across the road. A rabbit hopped by. A tiny bird sang as Samuel walked past. Samuel saw the butterfly. Samuel did not stop. Samuel saw the rabbit. Samuel did not stop. Samuel heard the bird singing. Still, Samuel did not stop. Samuel was in a hurry to see the new king. Will the king, the new king be tall? Will the new king be strong? wondered Samuel as he walked. Will the new king smile? Samuel walked and walked. At last, Samuel came to the town of Bethlehem. There were houses everywhere. Fathers and mothers and boys and girls filled the streets. Samuel sent a message to Mr. Jesse. I must see you, said the message from Samuel. I must see your sons too. Mr. Jesse was excited when he got the message. Hurry, hurry, said Mr. Jesse to his son. We are going to see Samuel. We are going to see Samuel right now. David, the youngest son, came over to Mr. Jesse. Father, said David, I want to go to see Mr. Samuel, but it is my turn to take care of the soft woolly sheep. The sheep cannot be left alone, agreed Mr. Jesse. You must stay home with the sheep. David did not pout or cry because he could not go to see Samuel. David loved and obeyed his father. I will stay, said David cheerfully. I will stay and watch the sheep. Mr. Jesse hugged David. You are a dependable boy, said Mr. Jesse. You love and obey me. You love and obey God. I am very pleased. Mr. Jesse hugged David again. Then Mr. Jesse left the house. He took the older brothers to see Samuel. Mr. Jesse and his older sons hurried down little streets. They hurried down dusty roads. Finally, Mr. Jesse and his sons found Samuel. Mr. Jesse, said Samuel, God has chosen one of your sons for something very special. God has chosen one of your sons to be the new king. Mr. Jesse was excited. Mr. Jesse was glad that God had chosen one of his sons to be the new king. Carefully, Samuel looked at Mr. Jesse's sons. They were all standing together in the warm afternoon sun. Samuel looked at the first son. Samuel looked up, up, up.
Mr. Jesse's first son was very tall. Mr. Jesse's first son was handsome too. Oh, oh, thought Samuel, this tall, handsome son must be the new king. No, no, whispered God to Samuel, this son is not my new king. Samuel looked at the next son and the next son. Each time, God said, no, no, this is not my new king. Samuel looked at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sons. Not the one of the seven sons was to be God's new king. Samuel looked around. He scratched his head. There were no more sons left. Mr. Jesse asked Samuel, do you have any other sons? Mr. Jesse smiled. I have one more son, said Mr. Jesse. His name is David. David is my youngest son. David is taking care of the soft, woolly sheep. Samuel shook his head. Hurry, Mr. Jesse, said Samuel. Send for your youngest son, David. Mr. Jesse quickly sent someone to get David. Samuel was still shaking his head. How can a boy who takes care of sheep become a king? thought Samuel. I just do not understand. Soon, a young shepherd boy ran to Mr. Jesse. It was David. Father, father, panted David. Why did you send for me? Samuel would like to see you, son, said Mr. Jesse. David went to Samuel. David stood patiently as Samuel looked at him. Samuel looked at David's wind-blown hair. Samuel looked at David's red cheeks. Suddenly, God whispered, Yes, yes, this boy is to be my new king. He is a boy who takes care of sheep. He is a boy who loves and obeys me. Samuel smiled. Samuel smiled a big, big smile. Samuel knew why God had chosen David. If David can love and obey God as a shepherd boy, thought Samuel, when David becomes a king, he will love and obey God too. Samuel stood straight and tall. Samuel turned to face Mr. Jesse. Mr. Jesse, said Samuel, God has chosen his new king. God has chosen a new king who loves and obeys God. God has chosen David to be the new king.